Now that you're in the beta, or at least a decent amount of you are, you're probably starting to get a feel for the new smokes. Still, there's a lot going on and it's important to know the absolutely essential smokes you're going to need when CS2 goes truly public, so you can really send the Valorant players back to Valorant. Learning window smokes from spawn is a huge upgrade to your mid takes, but also a ball ache. It's much easier to just learn a connect smoke and cut that angle off completely and make somebody else learn the window one. Also, smoking con is so much easier and more powerful now than it was on go. A single smoke covers the whole thing and a free-handed window smoke will let you fly up short. Or you can just fight the orb. Always works. Monster. In a massive open map, Monster is the great equaliser. Great players, bad players and everything in between are all equal being squished through that little tunnel into a molotov, full blind. It's imperative to keep it smoked as a CT and get it done early. The spawn smoke lineup has changed slightly, but it's important has not. Similarly, if you're not smoking the bottom of the ramp on Vertigo, you're in some deep shit. You have to challenge ramp or get executed on, and that's only doable if you cut off the overwatch from below. Help your challengers with a simple but crucial smoke. Nuke ain't easy, but it is a lot easier when you're downstairs, which is a mythical place for counter strike players both in and out of the server. This is two smokes, but they're both equally important. If you want to get really fancy, there's a three smoke variant that's popular among pros, but in CS2 it's a bit easier to see over them. Throw these two simple cross smokes and take secret. Or don't. The power comes from the threat as much as the presence. Ancient rewards speed and aggression possibly more than any other map, and if you're going to fight mid, there's two very important smokes. Fighting mid is really powerful. You get out at around the same time as the CTs, and this window smoke cuts off any CT who dares to stay in their ivory tower. The other smoke we mentioned? Smoke the molly, please. It's signed by everyone who's ever gone out first on Ancient. If you're still not an Anubis pilled Egypt cell, it might be time to get on board. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. On the T side, you're going to want to smoke off connector at the start of the round quite often. This smoke allows you to walk about side of con safely, put numbers towards A, be able to watch a mid window, and even burst with a con smoke if you molly and nade the rest of con and make it unsafe to stand in. It is versatile and it's a default piece of util for that reason. Last map on the list is Inferno, and if for some reason you want to play this map, it's pretty important to know a good long side smoke. CT on B is also muy importante, but you can freehand that without any stress. If you're going towards A, you'll need this. Cut off the AWP on long, hold off the rotators and give the site player some claustrophobia. Whatever your random teammates decide to leave you on, you will be ready. Learn your one smoke for each map, throw it every round and bait, I, sorry, follow in your random teammates and trade them. Trust us. The world of utility is forever changing and there's always more you can learn. This is merely the first step, but the longest journey begins with one.